Over 100 cyclists from around the country made their way to Invercargill's velodrome today for the first day of the elite and under-19 track national championships. While the championships host some of the best cyclists in the country, they're also a big chance for young riders to further themselves in the sport. We've got the best, pretty much the best riders in the country, uh, barring the, the handful that are off to the world champs. Unfortunately, it's on at the same time because Commonwealth Games have been brought forward this year. Um, so, but the best country, best riders in the country, and we've got a whole lot of under 19 sort of vying for sort of national selection as well. They want to be noticed and be part of that high performance program going forward. The day started with the under 19 women taking to the track two at a time for the 2,000 metre individual pursuit and were followed by the elite men's 4,000 metre individual pursuit with the fastest four from each going on to tonight's finals. South and paracyclist Hannah Pascoe who was born with congenital glaucoma and her tandem pilot Nina Wollaston of Auckland said they're using the event as a stepping stone as they prepare for next month's paracycling world championships in Rio de Janeiro. Despite only having been paired for a few months, the cyclists say their first event of the championships was a personal success. Surprisingly we've done a um, PB um, since we've um, been riding together. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it went really well. Our goal was to get a PB in the start lap, personal best, um, because that's one of our main work-ons. Um, and we did like a, what, 1.2 second PB, so we're yeah. really happy with that. The coach was yeah. happy, so that's all we can ask for, really. <laughs> to wrap up the first session, awards were presented for the paracycling time trial finals, in which Pasco and Wollaston placed second. Organisers said while today was just a light session to ease cyclists into the event, from tomorrow morning the competition will really heat up. Sharon Rees, The South Today.